Thin dark coatings known as desert varnish are common on rocks in arid regions on Earth, and they're thought to form in part from microbial activity. Now, on Mars, the Perseverance rover has found similar coatings. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance recently completed sampling of the first mudstone of the mission, a key target in the search for preserved microbial life, as I presented in episode 70. But just out of reach from this location are some anomalously dark spots on nearby rocks that can be seen with the zoom lens on MassCam Z. Here's my Swiss Army knife for scale. The biggest spot was viewed with the telescope of the SuperCam instrument and zapped with its laser to determine elemental composition. The nanosecond blasts made these holes and also blew away some sand and a layer of dust revealing an even darker surface, which is also shiny. The similarity with desert varnish on Earth is notable. Other nearby rocks imaged with MassCam Z appear to have the same coating, but it's not as dark because of the dust layer. Back toward the layered rocks of the ancient eroded delta deposit are other examples. Here's Mars Guy for scale. There's also a very unnatural rock coating, a piece of spacecraft thermal blanket, actually, which I presented in episode 63. Up on the cliff face, the SuperCam telescope spotted a gray coating that appears to be flaking away, similar to this example of desert varnish from Arches National Park near Moab, Utah in the U.S. This raises the question of whether all of the gray surfaces on this cliff are the same coating, and if so, whether this is actual desert varnish. This matters because desert varnish on Earth typically contains various microorganisms and other organic matter. The slow accumulation of layers just a few micrometers thick over thousands or tens of thousands of years happens when airborne dust and other particles mix with small amounts of water that then evaporates. Desert varnish has attracted the attention of scientists for centuries, including Charles Darwin. The role of microbes in its formation has been debated for decades, with still no definitive answer. But it is clear that desert varnish is well-suited for capturing and preserving microbes. So finding it on Mars would be a big deal in the search for life. If a sample is collected and returned to Earth, the hunt for preserved microbes would be undertaken with the most capable microscopes ever built, which are too big to fly to Mars. Assuming this is desert varnish, if no microbes are found, then at the very least, the long debate about their role in its formation would be settled.